Hey guys, welcome to the channel Health Tricks and Tips in English, the best pregnancy centric channel. Low amniotic fluid, high amniotic fluid, amniotic fluid breaking out, all the things related to amniotic fluid we are going to cover in this video. So without wasting time, let's get started. I will start with what is amniotic fluid. So amniotic fluid is a fluid that remains inside an amniotic sac. Amniotic sac is inside the uterus and inside this amniotic sac there is amniotic fluid. And inside the amniotic fluid, the baby is floating. So whenever you are feeling any movements, just visualize that the baby is inside a sac. So you can imagine it like a balloon. There is a balloon in which water is filled and inside that water, the baby is there. Now the number one thing would come in your mind is why is this amniotic fluid important? So friend, amniotic fluid is very much important because the number one thing it provides to the baby is the cushioning. The baby is at the threat from various pressures that are falling on mother's womb, that are falling on mother's stomach. It could be any accident as well, any jerk as well. So all these things are taken care by this amniotic fluid because amniotic fluid gives a cushioning effect to the baby and saves the baby from any sort of the outside pressure. It is very much important because it maintains the temperature that is required for the proper development of the baby. Now the temperature has to be maintained inside the womb for the baby. It should be approximately 37 degree. And to maintain this temperature inside the womb is also one of the prominent work of the amniotic fluid. Sometimes the temperature of the mother body may change and that should not be transferred as soon as possible to the baby. Now this amniotic fluid is there to delay this transfer of temperature which will prevent the baby from having the sudden change of the temperature which is a very bad situation for the development of the baby or the health of the baby. Amniotic fluid is also very much important to prevent the baby from any sort of the infections. The mother is prone to the infections because of the highly compromised immunity. It could be any sort of the infections, viral infections or the bacterial infections. The pregnant woman is also prone to UTI that is the urinary tract infection that can also transfer to the baby. And Again, there is this fluid which will protect the baby inside the womb. So there are n number of benefits of this fluid and to maintain a proper level of this fluid is highly important. During your pregnancy, this fluid can be low, this fluid can be high or this fluid can be just at the appropriate level. This fluid is measured in terms of amniotic fluid index that is AFI. Now this value could range between 8 to 18. Whenever the AFI value decreases from 8, it is termed as a low amniotic fluid. The medical term for this is oligohydramnios. When this amniotic fluid level go above 18, then this is known as polyhydramnios. Now both the situations are not at all good because in both the cases, the baby is at threat. If the amniotic fluid is going low, definitely all the points that I have covered, all the benefits of amniotic fluid will be lowering. And if the amniotic fluid is increasing, that doesn't mean that it is giving the more protection to the baby, but it is actually a problem because amniotic sac can rupture. And if the amniotic sac is rupturing before the 37th, week of the pregnancy then it is termed as premature rupture of the membrane that is the PROM. So both the situations both the conditions are not at all good for you. So why these two problems low amniotic fluid or the high amniotic fluid is there it depends upon n number of the factors. It shows that the baby is not developing properly inside the womb. The baby's kidneys are not working properly. The baby's urinary system. The baby's digestion is not proper. A mother is not drinking water. The dehydration could also be one of the causes. Another cause could be the twin pregnancy at this time the oligohydramnios problem that is the low amniotic fluid problem is more prominent now whenever you are facing this problem of low amniotic fluid or the high amniotic fluid there are treatments for this and for this you need to consult your gynecologist so this was the basic idea about the amniotic fluid amniotic sac and what is the importance of the amniotic fluid hope you have liked this information if you like this video do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you have landed up to the channel first time and you have not subscribed until now kindly do so by pressing the red subscribe button also press the notification bell and then select all to never miss any sort of updates or video notifications from our channel let's connect in another video on pregnancy till then peace out stay happy stay healthy